Hey y'all. I know it's been a little minute since I've put my face on here. Um, it's time to talk about the election. I can do it under 10 minutes. I think I went on Facebook Live yesterday and it took me like an hour and 10 minutes. I mean, an hour and 30 something minutes to just have that conversation with people about my thoughts because I, I almost felt drunk because of the sobering moment. Like right now I'm in this like cloudy space like in my head because of the reality of what could happen. I did not throw up like I thought I would about the results. I stayed up to hear it be officially called and I just, I, I think because I cried right before I came home and I could see the writing on the wall that, 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 that he was too close. Like, I mean, I knew a, like she would have to do, she would have to wipe everything else out to, to win, but I was still hopeful to the very end. That's just who I am. Um, but once I, you know, but I still cried because I had this pit in my stomach that all my rights as a woman was about to be in jeopardy. Um, social media has been interesting on Facebook. I had to delete and block people. Um because and I'm going to say this I'm going to interject myself people are sitting up there like why would you uh, block I would never block somebody because of their political views you guys are weird I'm sorry this ain't this ain't the one you did not eat on that one boo boo I can see if you said I don't like gravy <laughs> I don't like sour candy which I like both, right? But when when you're saying your political views align with a person who has raped women, a man who has been openly racist towards all people, who is greedy, who who just cares about his wealth, um, a person who has been fraudulent for multiple years, many years, who has 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 been bankrupt six times in his business and basically has been fraudulently a billionaire. Like people have literally given him money in his election campaign, but he's used it for his lawyers and all these trials and things and stuff that he's done wrong. And, you know, just even defrauding people that thought they were getting, you know, they were investing in a charity. A man who jokes and laugh about and, and wants people who are disabled to basically, he already said, he said they should just die. He doesn't understand why people will even be in the doggone military. He, he called people prisoners of war suckers because they died. This is a nasty man. And we just voted for him. Not me, but America. So when people have sit out, when the, the ones, when, this is why we get mad at people who don't vote. Because they're essentially saying, my vote didn't matter enough to change the, uh, the outcome. And if you would have voted for the person who has your best interest, we would see good things coming. Trump is already saying he's going to deport. He's going to have the, he's, he, he, he said that the prices, there's no price tag on um, deporting, deporting um, basically immigrants or people who, I guess, cross the border and stuff. He said there's no price tag. That already should tell you all you need to know about how our economy about to be. Because that means he's going to be spending way more money 
than he did the last time. He doesn't care about the deficit. The Republicans always scream, the debt, the debt, the debt, the Democrats in the debt. This ain't about debt. You don't care about debt. You use debt to live off of it and, and grow your riches. Shut up. I don't want to hear none of that. I don't want to hear none of that crap. Trump, Trump allowed, he, 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 he done fooled people again. This is a con artist. He's a liar. He's a cheat. And he's been doing this his whole life. And he's just, he's, he's been getting away with it by basically not going to jail. And he's been getting away with it since he was a child. He's been getting, he's been getting away with it for all this time. He probably thinks that he's getting away with it. But you know what? I know that I know who my God is. He ain't going to get away with this. This man needs to repent. And the fact that he keeps going on and on and on out loud, it, it lets me know that he hasn't repented because he hasn't changed his ways. People who repent will say, God, I'm so sorry. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? They apologize. They say what they did wrong. They try to make up for it. And I just don't see any uh, any part of that in him. E even when he got shot in the ear. And I have skepticisms about that. But even when he got shot, and then there was another attempt, apparent attempt, that it could have been that somebody was trying to shoot him again. I still saw no changes. When I when I repented, I said, God, I try. I, I would do my best not to do this again, because I know that I'm going to still make mistakes while I'm on this earth. But the same mistakes I was making over and over and over again, and I was just deliberately doing wrong when I knew it. I'm not going to try to do this no more. And I and I still there's of course there are still things that I need to work on, but it's not stuff like that. It ain't stuff like that. This is just stuff that I, I that is personal right here. It's it's the heart. It's me. I'm not out here out loud trying to hurt more people. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not out here out loud trying to involve people in 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 scheme and stuff like that. That's not me. But I, I, I'm not saying who Trump is in his soul, but he doesn't even exhibit what I know God to teach. What I know God to say in his word. So all these Christian nationalists out here who think, well, America should be Christian. That's not what this country was found to be. And people don't seem to understand that. That's not what America is about. It's about having your own decisions. So you you can have, if you want to be in a, a part of another religion, you be a part of another religion if you want to. You can't force somebody to be a part of your religion because if everybody was trying to force everybody to be uh, Muslims or, or or Jewish, people would have an uproar. So why are you trying to tell someone else what to do? Why? And I and I need I, I, I I'm gonna probably put that on another one, but I'm gonna talk about it. These men out here saying, I'm, I'm probably being a little bit exaggerant, but I'm also like, this is unbelievable. They're saying, your, your body, my choice. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. And I boohoo cried yesterday. Because my niece has to grow up in a society where people look at her and be like, child, please. And I just don't know where we go from here, America. I just don't know where we go from here. I, like, I, I have faith. I believe in God. But this crap right here, y'all going to regret this. I promise you, you're going to regret this. It's unbelievable, man. It's unbelievable.